The best way to study is to take practice tests, and if you can't find good practice tests, build your own and learn while you do it using the Learn My Test study tool. It's absolutely free at learnmytest.com. And also click on the link in the description to take a practice test that I made using the Learn My Test study tool. Thank you for watching our video on reliability and validity. This is Ba Tai. Ba wants to make an intelligence test that is better than all the other intelligence tests out there. But how is Ba going to know that his intelligence test is better than all the others? It will have to have really good reliability and validity. What is reliability? The big question you want to ask with reliability is, are the results consistent? Test retest reliability is, if you give someone the test twice, they should make around the same score. So if I gave Ball's intelligence test to the same person two times, they should make pretty close to the same score on both administrations. Internal reliability or internal consistency is looking at all the individual questions and making sure that they are all consistent with one another. It's usually measured using a Kronbach Alpha statistic. Validity is, is the test measuring what it's supposed to measure? Criterion validity is, is the test indicating outcomes that it's actually supposed to indicate? For example, if you have a job selection test, does the job selection test actually predict job performance? Predictive validity is a type of criterion validity that asks, do the results of the test successfully predict outcomes they're supposed to predict? So in the case of Ball Ties intelligence test, high scores should predict later success in school, education, and career. Concurrent validity is similar to predictive validity, except it's not predicting anything. It's relating it to outcomes that are available when the test is being taken. It's not looking into the future. So for example, if Fishbein, a third grader, takes Ball's intelligence test and scores really high, the Fishbein kid should have mostly A's on his report card, according to Ball's intelligence test. Construct validity is do people make similar scores on other accepted tests that measure similar things? So with Dr. Tai's intelligence test, is it correlated with other intelligence tests like the Wexler Adult Intelligence Scale or the Stanford Binet? Content validity is do experts agree that this test measures what it is supposed to measure? Do people agree that Ball's intelligence tests does in fact measure intelligence. So after Ball creates his test, he may want to have experts review it. Face validity is, does the test appear to measure what it is supposed to measure? So for example, if the Fishbein kid takes Ball's intelligence test and says, yeah, that really seemed like an intelligence test, I'm not surprised, then it should have good face validity. However, a good example of face validity is when students complain about their teacher's test that they give them, and they, said that it, they say that it doesn't really assess what they learned in class. That's an example of students that didn't think their teacher's test was face valid. Can a test be reliable and not valid? Yes. If a test is reliable and not valid, then it is likely measuring something in order to get reliable scores. However, since it's not valid, then it's not measuring what it should be measuring or what it was designed to measure. Take a second to pause the video because I want to ask you a question and give you enough time to respond. Do you think a test can be valid but unreliable? The answer is no. A test cannot be valid and unreliable because if the scores are not consistent, they won't always be valid. They may be valid sometimes, but not during other times. So this picture is really a great example of why a test can't be valid if it's unreliable. Thank you for watching this video. Please click the subscribe button to stay up to date on our most recent videos. Please give us a like button if you like the video. Click on our link in the description to, to take a practice test that I made using the Learn My Test study tool. Thank you so much for watching.